Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and today I'm gonna do a review for you of the Dash Personalized Ice Cream Maker. So this makes, it's called My Pint, and it makes one pint of ice cream, just like it says. Very simple design, I love the Dash products. This is not sponsored, although if Dash wants to sponsor me, feel free, um, but I bought this on Amazon. It was like $25. There's a link in my Amazon storefront below if you want to go check it out. But I did the research for us and we're gonna try it out and see if I can get some ice cream. So first thing you do when you get it, open the box, pull out your directions. You're going to take everything out. You get this cup holder here that holds this. This is your frozen solid ice cream barrel. This has been in the freezer for 24 hours. You'll see on the bottom that design. When you put it in here, it gives it resistance. So when the batter is, or the beater is turning, this won't just spin. So that's important. And it comes with this plastic ice cream beater. You get your own personal spoon. And the, the, the meat of the whole thing is this. You put your beater in here and it will turn plugged in. So what I have done is I washed everything, soap and water, dried it thoroughly, put this in the freezer 24 hours and let it go. Now we're going to put it back in the freezer because I'm going to talk to you a little bit and I don't want this to get thawed. So here's the thing. When you're making ice cream, obviously the key is everything needs to be super, super, super cold. We're making a pint here, and this is a $25 machine. So we're gonna give it the best head start we can. We're gonna freeze that for 24 hours. I even will put this in the freezer, make sure it's cold. And then you're gonna make your batter, um, or creme anglaise, I believe it's called. And what that is, it is the ice cream base. This is also gonna go back in the freezer while we talk. This was um, in the refrigerator, so I made, I'm just going to put that right there. I made a whole batch of ice cream base. I made keto so I can have it. You make your recipe. This is not about the recipe, but you want to use good ingredients. There's very few. It's cream, it's milk, it's sugar, it's eggs and then any additives that you want. But you wanna make sure you make it, everything the day in advance. Then you store, ooh, tipping over here, guys. You store the batter or the base, the ice cream base in the refrigerator so that it comes, because you do cook it. So you store that in the refrigerator so it comes to temperature, it's very cold. And you had your ice cream base in the freezer as well. So now everything has been in there for 24 hours. That is the most important. Now, when you're making your ice cream base, it's going to say things like, when you put a spoon in and you wipe the back and it stays, it's thick enough. You need to cook it till it's thick. So you, we wanna give this every advantage that we can. Now, this is a plain vanilla base. You can make any flavor ice cream you want. I always recommend you start with the basics. Let's do vanilla. And you can add things to this, um, any type of additives like chocolate chips or chopped up Reese cup or whatever you want to add you do after you've done your turning now let's pretend like this just came out of the freezer on the inside you saw the metal it's so cold and it's going to turn the batter beater is going to turn slow so as it's touching the outside it's getting hard and then we're stirring it in and that is the whole premise of churned ice cream if, if you did it now so just a little backstory on the ice cream but what basically is going to happen is whatever you put in this contraption is going to come out so if it doesn't work out it could be your ingredients it's not always the machine I'm not saying it's not the machine so i then came downstairs and the direction said you do not use more than one cup of batter in here or base ice cream base in here so i put one cup in that um, measuring cup in the freezer, 30 minutes. So it's now super cold. The base is super cold. Let's make some ice cream. Okay, I have all the ingredients out of the freezer. This goes in here. Again, it's locked into place so we can hold it. 
Then we're gonna pour this batter, which is super thick and cold. I keep calling it a batter, it's ice cream base. Just ignore my words. That's very cold. If you left it just a little too long, bring it out, stir it, let it come to like warm up a little bit. You just don't want it chunky when you put it in here because that could impede, but cold, cold is the key. I read so many reviews, they're like, the machine doesn't work. Yeah, the machine works, people. The machine works. So we did that. And then the directions say to put this in here so it locks into place turn it on and then slowly drop it in and now we're letting it churn do you hear it it is in here churning the ice cream how long do we leave it i don't know probably 20 minutes i would say we'll check it i also got some on here now, when this comes out, it'll be really soft. You're not gonna get firm ice cream out of an ice cream maker because it wouldn't be able to turn. But you're gonna get it nice and thick. And then I have a container here to put it in. And then with the lid, and I'm gonna store it like that in my freezer. But we're gonna wait, or you can just eat it. That's what the spoon is for. Apparently you're just supposed to take it and go. But again, I'm making the best giving this ice cream the best chance I can, right? Because that's how we roll. All right, I'm gonna let this go. Ooh, or not. You gotta hold on to it. It's already getting thick, guys. Should we see? I mean, it's already getting thick. You gotta hold on to it though, because you just saw what happened, right? I'm just rinsing off my stuff because I'll need my spatula here and what this is doing besides freezing is adding a little bit of air into the ice cream to give it that creamy con consistency and texture and if you don't love the recipe the first time around try a different recipe I went with a very basic keto recipe because that's what I need but you see already how thick it is, it's almost the consistency of a soft serve. The directions say that you wanna leave this a minimum of four hours to freeze, but I think overnight is better. That's me, you do you. It's sounding like it might be about ready and we're looking at less than three minutes. And it's, yeah, it's starting to feel like um, it's pretty tight in here, but look at already. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at this already. Now this is pretty thin. Like I said, we know that. So what I'm going to do is pour it in this cup and I'm going to stick it in the freezer for probably 30 minutes and then we're going to come back and taste it. Okay guys, I put it in the freezer for about 30 minutes just to give it a good setup. It's still a little soft. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know where these reviews came from that said this machine does not work because it 100% works. You gotta do the ingredients correctly and you have to follow the directions. So I hope this review and little tutorial was helpful. I think what I'm gonna do is make some ice cream sandwiches. I have some keto cookies. This recipe for the keto ice cream I got from um, Cooking Keto with Christy. I think it's her gatherings cookbook, so I can't share the recipe, but there's plenty of recipes out there and you can make whatever ice cream base you want. Oh, I was gonna touch on vanilla, real vanilla guys. Don't use the fake stuff, real vanilla. You're using such little ingredients here, but oh, mm. so good. All right, everybody, you have a good one and I will talk with you later.